Timor Leste or East Timor or known as the Democratic Republic of Timor Leste is an island country that was located in Southeast Asia. Timor Leste is divided into two parts which are the Republic of Indonesia on the west and the capital of Dili on the east. During the 16th century, Timor Leste was colonized by the Portuguese and was called Portuguese Timor. In 1613, the Dutch came to Timor Leste. Dutch and Portuguese fought for Timor Leste, and Timor Leste was divided into two, which are Portuguese Timor and Dutch Timor. Then, in 1949, Dutch gave up on Timor Leste, and in 1975, the Portuguese suddenly stopped the colonization against Timor Leste, and Timor Leste decided to declare its independence on 28 November 1975. However, Indonesian forces came to Timor Leste after 9 days of the declaration. The agreement on the independent referendum under the United Nations was made and Timor Leste can choose whether to be under Indonesia or gain independence. Most people vote for the independence of Timor Leste in August 1999. Finally, Timor Leste was known as an independent nation on 20 May 2002. Timor Leste chooses to leave Indonesia because of the continuous conflict, controversy, allegations and evidence of human rights abuse by Indonesian forces and so on. The parties involved in the independence of Timor Leste are Fredelin, UDT and Kota. Fredelin is a party of national independence that led to the declaration of independence for Timor Leste on 28 November 1975, but it is only in a short time. Next. Unia Demokratika di Timur UDT decided to cooperate with Fredelin because both of the parties agreed that Timur Leste should gain independence. Lastly, the purpose of Kota was to protect the Timorese culture and traditions during the colonial era. In March 2011, Timor Leste applied to be a member of ASEAN but it is still not accepted by the ASEAN yet. Then, Timor Leste put a lot of efforts to be qualified in becoming a member of ASEAN. But until now, Timor Leste still does not gain status as members of ASEAN despite its efforts. Factors that lead to the independence of Timor Leste The UN sponsored referendum that was managed by United Nations is the reason for independence for Timor Leste, in which more than 78.5% of people vote for independence. Thus, the United Nations responsible to ensure the peace of Timor Leste until it becomes fully independent. This referendum occurred because of the resignation of Indonesian President Suharto. Then, BJ Habibie replaced President Suharto and made an agreement and let Timor Leste choose whether they want to be under Indonesia or reach independence. Next, Timor Leste had limited participation in the island's administration even though they were a province of Indonesia at that time. The Indonesian government put a limit on the participation of Timorese. This causes unfair treatment for Timorese and makes them choose to be independent and free from Indonesia. Lastly, the Carnation Revolution happened in Portugal that causes Portugal to leave Timor Leste. Carnation Revolution is the power of a government that favored democracy and decolonization. Thus, Portugal had to leave Timor Leste. The Carnation Revolution that occurred in Portugal is one of the factors that lead to the independence of Timor Leste, but only in a short time after the Indonesian military came. The case of Timor Leste membership admission to ASEAN previous the issue of ASEAN's legal framework itself to which may be in conflict with its own advocacy of determined to transform from an informal organization to a rules-based organization. This causes an ongoing accession of Timor Leste that has no end until today. It is known that in the establishment of ASEAN in 1967, the first five members Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, and Singapore agreed to Bangkok Declaration or also known as ASEAN Declaration. Then, the constituent instrument of ASEAN is shifted towards ASEAN Charter which was enacted in 2007. The Charter has made the admission of a new member more difficult with the additional requirements laid out in Article 6 that states, Location in the recognized geographical region of Southeast Asia, recognition by all ASEAN member states, agreement to be bound and abide by the Charter, and ability and willingness to carry out the obligation of membership. While the first three requirements are met, the latest are still in process of Timor Leste being required which is the willingness and being able to carry out obligations. 
all member states support Timor Leste's admission and it come without full assurance stating that Timor Leste is still lacking in economic capability and human resources as its human capital index was listed at the lowest among all ASEAN members. In the assessing of Timor Leste's readiness to become a member state, ASEAN has formed ASEAN Coordinating Council Working Group ACCWG. As Timor Leste has taken initiatives particularly in the economic aspect to prepare its accession, the ACCWG funded ASEAN Development Bank to provide technical assistance that basically works in aligning the ASEAN legal instruments and ASEAN community blueprint. The study shows that by 2015, Timor Leste has only increased 1.6% binding its legal frameworks with ASEAN's agreement while it was targeted to be fully compliant with the increase of 50% by June 2018. Therefore, it shows the lack of capacity of Timor Leste in carrying out the membership obligations. Another factor that influenced the prolonging of Timor Leste's membership admission is the fear of possible foreign influence. It is important to be noted that China, as one of the first countries to recognize Timor Leste, has been sending help and assistances toward Timor Leste since its independence, that includes mostly infrastructure, military, and government facilities. The improvement in economy and human resources is needed by Timor Leste in securing its possibility to become a member of ASEAN. In achieving this, it is impossible for Timor Leste without any help. This could be problematic to ASEAN that the acceptation would mean that China may influence Timor Leste's decision in ASEAN, thus hampering the consensus decision-making process. Although the requisites of membership application have been described under the ASEAN Charter, the role of political consideration is inevitable to be weighed in upon the case of one's accession into ASEAN. This goes to Timor Leste as well to which affect the consensus in admitting the new member and would unable to be achieved due to objections by several member states that expressing concerns Timor Leste capacity in carrying out the obligations of membership. Singapore has been the most reluctant to endorse with the basis of economic reasoning to which it views Timor Leste as having the possibility to burden ASEAN. Thus, the consensus towards Timor Leste's admission to ASEAN is the final step that must be taken to decide whether it shall be done or not. It has taken great strides in ensuring readiness of Timor Leste to become ASEAN's 11th member state. The decision lies in ASEAN's hand, and if some member states remain resistant to accepting Timor Leste, ASEAN as a regional bloc owes an explanation to Timor Leste. Next is implications Timor Leste left Indonesia. By May 2002, over 205,000 refugees had returned. 20 May 2002, where the constitutions of the Democratic Republic of East Timor had come in by force and East Timor was recognized as independent by the United Unions. In November 1991 has brought the Delimus Renew International Recognizations to East Timor and International Unpopularity of Indonesia Regulations. The extreme impact of Asian financial crisis from late 1997 on Indonesia and Suharto became the end of the system in May 1998. They opened a new possibility for a status renew of East Timors. Moreover, during 27 January 1999, Indonesia government take part President Habibie has made an announcement official approach where they changed so now they would accept the chances of independence if the Timor Leste people wanted to choose this kind of way and their decision was validated by the Indonesian parliament. Furthermore, it can be beneficial to Indonesia once they accept East Timor for independence. So the groups or individuals might have some loss on particular economic interests and continue integrations with Indonesia gains advantage. Dr. George Adijondro has declared that some of powerful civilian and military figures also including those members in family of former President Suharto have the large-scale interest in terms of economic with East Timor. With this interest, he has declared include over 500,000 hectares of land, including timber and sugar plantation, marble deposit, textiles, tourists and also oil. Dr. George Adijondro said that he already made it clear once Timor become independent state that it will see. Nowadays, Timor Leste is one of the slightest growth nations and also a young state in the world, while Asian is the fast growing dynamic integration process. All Asian members recognize Timor Leste as an independent state, and Timor Leste has been noticed in ASEAN since 2002. Thus, has been also signing the Treaty of Amity and Corporate in 2007. For ASEAN, English is ASEAN normal working language that they usually use but with foreign encouragement. Timor Leste normally providing language training for their officials. 
after Timor Leste has proved their ability in order to implement their obligation as members of ASEAN, Timor Leste has shown a strong position on democratic principle and also human rights. Moving on to the next implication for Timor Leste, Timor Leste would rather reduce their decision making on powers of its current members. The reason is because consensus will need to be reached by 11 instead of 10 countries. Their decision can be also become more hard for Timor Leste to reach and ASEAN might little bit of its dynamics. This will become a bigger concern if Timor Leste can motivate and build up the Asian membership aspirations of Papua New Guinea. Timor Leste may supply some limited opportunities for other Asian countries in order for their investors. A young state normally offers many kind of opportunities but as a market, in an island country would not have that much give within a free trade area with the population of 1.2 million. The economy can benefit as they are being a part of Asian can likely to be great for Timor Leste. They can easily access a, to a market for about 600 million people by providing it. This will give opportunity to Timor Leste economy, make it more developed member, Timor Leste will have to face some few challenges where it will get low cost imports of Asian products and services child industry will make it hard for them to develop. Timor Leste has made a great process through 12 years of their independence and this will become encourage other Asian countries especially in the Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar and also Vietnam. Timor Leste is prepared to be a good example and creativity for other people in the region with regards to democracy, human rights and also media freedom which are some kind of areas that is very far to be seen only very steady for improvement in ASEAN. ASEAN international standing once if they fail to welcome Timor Leste in ASEAN could damage the image in the organizations. They could be taught as not transparent smaller and also needy states. Timor Leste has officially made application for ASEAN membership since March 2011 and in spite of its bid has received significant attention. Initiative that ASEAN do in solving the issue for Timor Leste to join ASEAN. In June 2019, Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen expressed his country's support for Timor Leste to become the 11th member of ASEAN ahead of a meeting with Timor Leste Minister of Foreign Affairs Dionysio Babo. He believed that Timor Leste are eligible to join the regional bloc as he had visited the countries before in 2016. Mr. Hun Sen said to not overlook the efforts of Timor Leste to improve its human resources just like other countries does to develop theirs. During the meeting with Mr. Dionysio, he quoted that we should join together to expand the economic activities, cultural corporations, tourism and more. Timor Leste Foreign Affairs Minister Dionysio noted that Brunei has given assurance to support the country's bid to join ASEAN, in which the latter hopes it will happen sooner rather than later. In July 2019, Malaysian's Foreign Minister Saifuddin Abdullah reiterated their support for the country to join ASEAN during its meeting with Dionysio, who was in Putrajaya for a visit in the same month, telling the country stand that Malaysia is always consistent to support Timor Leste's admissions into the associations ever since the Republic submitted its applications in 2011. In 2018, Malaysia was Timor Leste's sixth largest trading partner, ninth largest export destinations, and sixth larger source of imports. Similar support was expressed by Indonesia's Foreign Minister Retno Marsudi in the same month during the plenary sessions of the ASEAN Ministerial Meeting AMM in Bangkok, Thailand, where she explained that Indonesian support has been expressed many times even since the beginning, not only on political sense but including through various assistance streams to prepare and improve Timor Leste capacity to meet the requirements in joining the associations. The 34th ASEAN Summit in Bangkok was officially concluded on June 23, 2019. In the chairman's statement, Timor Leste's membership bid is mentioned in item 15. We were pleased to note the progress made on the considerations of Timor Leste's applications for ASEAN membership with all three pillars preparing for their respective fact-finding missions to Timor Leste and look forward to the outcomes of the aforementioned missions. We also reiterate our readiness to provide capacity building assistance to Timor Leste.
the ASEAN Political Security Community Fact-Finding Missions APSC FFM has visited the Moleste from 3rd to 6th September 2019 as part of the assessment of the Moleste readiness to join ASEAN. The APSC FFM is the first of three fact-finding missions from ASEAN to visit the Moleste. The parties involved discuss subjects such the Moleste foreign policy, legal changes and national development plan as well as the responsibilities that come with joining ASEAN under the APSC pillar. Due to health crisis and numerous constraints imposed by most nations, notable in regard to movement restrictions and border closures, there is still no precise date for the other two pillars of ASEAN to travel to Timulay State for fact-finding missions. Implementation can be imposed to help the development in Timor Leste. In ensuring Timor Leste to be one of the developed countries, ASEAN should help them in restoring and reviving their economic stability. This is because economic development is one of the important elements that lead to the growth of the country. ASEAN should help Timor Leste in mobilizing the available macro, structural policy tools, and also financial. Currently, the country relies heavily on its oil and gas exports, but it is quickly running out of reserves and need to be diversified the economy. If Timor Leste does in fact join ASEAN, it is likely to see rapid development and will undoubtedly present exciting opportunities for investment. Second, ASEAN can help and guide Timor Leste in establishing new laws, regulations and policies. This is because all of these aspects are necessary to reduce conflict, diminish the risk of further instability and to provide clear way to resolve past and future disputes. 19 years after the independence of Timor Leste from Indonesia, the country still lacks a legal basis for determining land ownership. At the time of independence, have resulted in variety of challenges including landlessness and forced displacement. Most Timorese in the countryside assess and hold land through customary and informal system, which have no legal recognition. Only minority ever got access to formal land titles during the Portuguese and Indonesia administration. Next, ASEAN can help Timor Leste in developing a plan to improve the infrastructure in the country such as buildings, roads, transportation system, communication network and also power supplies. While the country shows potential outside of the oil and gas industry, a lack of basic infrastructure and shortage of skilled labour presents a major problem for growth. According to the World Economic Forum Global Competitiveness Report, Timor Leste ranked 133 out of 143 countries in infrastructure. A better infrastructure in the country can lead to a better progress in producing more skilled and talented human capital because it will give better opportunity for health, education and employment field to be developed. The Timorese will have a better lifestyle and the poverty rate in the country will also decrease. Moreover, Timor Leste should cooperate with ASEAN and United Nations to create a plan that will strengthen the country's security. This is to ensure the peace, safety and prevent conflicts that can affect the stability of the nation. ASEAN and United Nations can create or expand their mission to help Timor Leste in ensuring the safety of the people, property and public in that country. To avoid any conflict arises between the attitudes and mentality of the people, prevention and management need to be implemented in order to develop respect among the people towards the differences in the democratic society. As a least developed country, Timor Leste should receive protection and security to avoid any global terrorism attack. Despite all the challenges that Timor Leste face between the democracy and development of the country, it shows that Timor Leste has gave all their commitment and effort in becoming a member of ASEAN even the application has been rejected. However, Timor Leste should not give up. Instead, the country should be more tenacious in improving the country's stability and growth in order to become a member of ASEAN. The admission of Timor Leste to ASEAN not only signifies the country's position in the regional and global order, but it also helps to secure the small young nation from any terrorism attack.